by far the coolest spot I have crashed out yet. That moon is so bright. Let's go do some fishing. All right, you guys, this is going to be a first for me, as you can see, maybe. I've got a high-low rig going here. I've got a little uh, night crawler on that top hook, which is a uh, number four hook. And down on the bottom, I've got a number two hook, and this baby has got some bacon on it. So we're gonna try some bacon. Two ounce weight on the bottom, new area, so who knows what's gonna happen. Let's give it a shot then. First attempt, complete failure. <laughs> Luckily, this rig is super easy to tie, so I'm gonna get another one set up on this little snap swivel here and give it another shot. What a horrible way to start out this day. I am actually head to toe, can't even really tell right now, head to toe soaking wet. I made the mistake setting up right here on this little uh, rocky point that you can see right here and I had the camera set up there and I know we've got a really strong incoming tide today and I've been kind of watching these waves you know there's always going to be those one or two that just come out of nowhere your little sneaker waves and I could see it from afar and I was trying to grab my stuff and get back as quick as I could next thing you know all I saw was white white water all over coming down on me taking out my camera and knocking down my gear get my stuff wet uh, i'm just gonna get out of here It's getting down off this crazy ledge that I'm on. Maybe we can go fish. What do we got underneath us? Here's a log. Oh, let's see if I can turn around on that. This is crazy. I am so stupid. Oh, you guys get a tag along. Really got to be careful in this spot. Being where I just came down from, there's really no quick way out of here. And being that we've got an incoming tide right now, at least for the next hour or so, kind of puts me in a precarious position out here. I'm going to throw the paddle tail bait on here. I'm going to start out with that since I have not fished this area before, just to kind of get an idea of what's out here, what the bottom's like. If we're rocky, if we're sandy. So I'm going to throw some casts and see if we can't find something that wants to fight. The paddle dot.
right guys, well the first few casts, nothing but hitting bottom and kind of snagging up a little bit, nothing that wouldn't come back. Keep it on there. First cast fish right there, guys. Oh! A friggin' beautiful fish right there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get this one back in the water and see what else we can find. most wonderful smell in the whole world. So what I've got here is the high-low rig, and I'm gonna throw some regular, uh, regular night crawler worms on there and see how that works out. I'm gonna break them in half first. I'm still hungry, so if I catch something else, I'm probably gonna cook it up. Let's try and go get some fish. You might wanna turn around though. There's got to be something back here. I've never noticed how much stuff, like rocks and uh, vegetation and stuff is out here. Kind of hoping we get this bait to get in one of these holes, find some fish. Here we go guys, some bites, there we go, oh, we got, yeah, 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 yes, first fish off the island, oh god, oh, well you guys know we are no stranger to these uh, kelp greenlings, Open up. You open up and get it out. It's almost there, dude. Come on! Come on. Let's say, so there's no... There you go. There's no minimum... There's no minimum uh, size on these, but I don't want to keep something too small. That actually almost would have been perfect. Yeah, that was... Oh, man. That was friggin' awesome. I wasn't sure. Sometimes you get that bouncing around. Uh, with your weight on the rock, especially being in a new area like that. I didn't really know what to expect. But I think I want to see if we can do that again. Time to get another worm.
Well, I broke this off fairly short. But let me show you guys uh, how you can kind of retie something like this really quick and get right back out in the water if you don't already have something pre-tied. All right, so I've got about five feet of leader here. So we're gonna go to our first tag end, end of our line. And we're gonna make a loop and we're just gonna pinch it between our uh, fingers here. We're gonna take this baby in half. So we've got like this nice little bow going on here. And the one that has the two in here, we're gonna put our finger through and wrap it twice. And then we're gonna see if you can reach through and grab that other loop that we have on that other side. And we wanna pull that through nice and tight. So what you're left with is a nice little loop. You cut off that tag end. So up from that dropper loop, we're gonna go about a foot, foot and a half. And we're gonna make a loop and we're gonna pinch with both hands up on the top. So we've got this little gap there in the middle. So we're gonna to wanna to take that gap and we're gonna spin it four to six times. That's three, four, five, six. Now we've got that hole that we were wrapping around. So I'm gonna put my fingers through there and grab that hanging down loop that we've got. And I, I hold this with my teeth. I'm gonna pull tight. And you can see what it does is it makes this nice dropper loop that we're gonna be able to attach our weight on. So if you wanted to do a double dropper loop, obviously you can come down and do that again. I've been throwing a single out here. So we're gonna to go to the bottom for our weight and we're gonna do the same thing we did at the top. And this is gonna allow us to just clip it onto uh, the end of our line. Granted, we've got like a, a snap swiveler or something on there. We'll cut that tag in. So now let's say we were to put our weight on. We'd go down that loop and we just kind of pinch it down because we want to feed that through the eyelet. So we go through the eyelet, we're going to pull it through. Now we're going to take the weight, slide it through and cinch tight. So it makes it super easy. So if you need to swap out uh, to a bigger weight or you need to go to a smaller weight, then ooh, I almost lost the rig. You can uh, easily do it. And what's nice is you can have a lot of these pre-tied already. So when you snag up and break off, so with this, we're gonna feed through the back of our little hook here, the eyelet. I'm losing my minute. Lost my minute, I shouldn't have put that weight on yet. Oh, why are you so hard to get through? There we go. <coughs> All right, so now we've created that loop. So we're gonna put that over the hook and pull the hook. So now we can just take that loop Click it onto or clip it onto our snap swivel. We've got our hook down there with our dropper loop. We can put the bait on there, and drop them down to our weight. And as I said, if you realize that you need to put on more weight or you need to go lighter, it's as simple as you're, you're just going to push down and you're going to see a loop just fell out, comes right out, and it's going to be the same thing with the uh, the hooks. So nice, quick, simple, expedited way of uh, keeping your line in the water which is overall gonna get you, hopefully, ah, more fish.